All right, guys, it's up Neff here, and this is Wasteland 3. So I'm gonna go to headquarters to check my Kodiak. Um, I did. I saved the uh, Arapaho caravan, but I didn't get anything from them. We'll see. And I think I have around seven hundred dollars. I don't know how much it's gonna be for the, the anti-radiation for the Kodiak. We'll see. She's gonna go to the doctor first. Get patched up. If you have the cojones. Cojones. Uh, what? Ah, I'm Austin. I'm new. Welcome aboard. Where are you from? Oh, please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. I'm just saying. Oh, Team November. I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. Nothing serious. No one was hurt. Some harsh words and a shove. Sergeant Gratsky's already put the recruit on latrine duty. A fair punishment. Yeah, well, this isn't the first time your recruits have had harsh words for us rangers. You need to get your people under control. Gratsky's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day. Which is great for our mission, but it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in shifts. This is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, freeloaders. Usually, it's just snide comments. But today, one of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cot. Which is completely unacceptable behavior. Unfortunately, the problem's not going to go away if we ignore it. We need a solution before things explode. There have been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but... There's more than a few who ain't. Calling us names as they walk past, or telling us we're on borrowed time here, in our own home. Miss Hackett, I'm embarrassed. Part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Something must be done. We gotta get a handle on this one way or the other. Enough chaos going on outside the base. Don't need it when we get home, too. Well, the warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. Agree. Shoot. Hmm. An excellent idea. You'll have more space. And it will keep you away from the malcontents. What? <sighs> Guess you're right. I'll try to sell it to my people. And... I appreciate your efforts to honor our deal under changing circumstances. Oh, they're not gonna like this. What? 
that <laughs> I wasn't expecting that situation. Like, I still have two guys, two groups waiting outside. Like, what the fuck? I'm on the staff. <sighs> At least he's here. I want to talk to him. Rangers. Hello, Rangers. How you doing? Uh, um, permission to speak? I just wanted to say thank you again for saving my life. If you hadn't talked to Judge Watkins, well, I wouldn't be here, and and I'm really happy to be here. I guess that's all I wanted to say. Thanks. Oh, and uh, Mom thanks you too. Oh man, good job. Okay, doctor first. And then I'm gonna end the video. need rangers that's what you pay me for have a seat sure good one you have darts now okay definitely gonna buy this definitely Okay, so I'm gonna end the video here. Um, you can like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I was not expecting that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, thank you.